Now some details on the coin stuff. This is something that you see done a lot on the wooden dummy. And what we're just doing here is doing it without any dummy. Now if there's a dummy, you will be able to have a pole here. So imagine that there's a pole here and go can't go past that point. Right? So you go up the pole. So make sure when you chop, you're not chopping here. This way, because the pole is here, you can't go past that point. So one there. Okay, the reason is because you want to stop there, and also you can punch straight um, with this with this block too. So punch is coming in this way, you redirect and punch straight at the same time. Punch is coming this way, you direct and punch at the same time. So I'm exaggerating with the redirection and punching, but actually it's the same in one movement. So if you add a fist to it, it's actually one movement. You're redirecting and punching at the same time. If you separate it, it will be one, two. One, two. One, two. But don't separate it, because in actuality, when you're using it, it's going to be the same time. Okay? So at the same time, we're guarding the low attacks. And same thing, imagine there's a pole here, where there is, actually there's two poles here. No, there's one pole here in the uh, Wing Chun, so this doesn't go further than here. It stays in the center, because there's a pole here. And there's two poles here, so it stays in the center. So up, up, up. And like I mentioned, the reason we go up first is because if you have a sword here, in one hand, and you chop, oh no, you just chop yourself, right, if you go like that. So, we move it out of the way so we can chop it and clear our hand before we go like this. Same here. If we don't move my hand up first, look, I just chop myself. So, move it up first and chop. Okay. So that's why in this form, empty handed form, move the hand up first. Okay, important to have your rotation also in, in, the, in the wrist so that when you do direct, you're not going directly onto bone on bone, you're actually using the, the rotation of your bones to redirect this movement. So there's this motion. Motion. So without the pivoting, that's what it's gonna look like. Okay, with the pivoting. Okay, so it's a good thing to practice uh, at home. Just do this. 100 times. If you have a wooden dummy break, if you don't, just follow the principles that I showed you and you'll get it.